What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to the lovely streets of Florida to uh, Orange County and today we are Sheriff once again in the Taurus. Um, not much going on at the moment, it's uh, quite dead. Turn the radio on. There is a few civs, there's a few cops, it is still early, it was in the morning so not that many people on but we're still going to have some fun, we're going to see if we can stop any crimes going on. In my experience actually, the um, early morning when there's not many people on, that's when the most good stuff happens. You won't get bank robberies and stuff like that, but a lot of people commit crimes because the civs recognise there's not many cops and the cops recognise there's not many civs so they tend to interact more. And I think that's pretty cool, so we're going to go 10-8 and we'll see what we can get into. Just going to pull over here for a sec and run some uh, radar. As I said, there's not many people on so it might take longer to get someone and also there's no dispatch that's quite important to note but we need to we do need to turn our radio on so radar I keep saying radio radar radio same difference technically not but you know um, that's fine fast limit we're gonna set as 55 here and then anything above that will set off the fast limit we can close that menu and let's just see if anything happens we have one two five cops on including me as I said, not much, and there's about the same number of sieves, so something should happen soon. It's a very interesting van there. That's got to be a real person. Has to be. Yeah, that's a real person. Oh well, they didn't do anything wrong that I saw. One thing I have noticed, and this is actually driving me crazy, as you guys know if you've been watching my videos, I have just the tiniest bit of OCD and this door does not line up with the wheel well like the stripes it's ever so minute but it's driving me crazy at the front of the door it, it yeah things like that they drive me mad I noticed something like that on the Crown Vic as well before where around the badge at the back it had like sheriff and curved writing around it and it wasn't quite even and that I couldn't drive that car. I could not own a car with uneven writing. Ton of which. Something that made me giggle the other day. On the way to work. Oh, car circling parking lot of U tool. Oh, we'll respond to that. Um, two five two. Show me out. Uh, tending U tool. But yeah, I saw this car and it had no windscre rear windscreen wiper and in its place it had some writing which said wipers are for pussies. The radio is extremely quiet. I don't know if that's on my end or theirs, but you know. If it's just a car circling the parking lot, then not illegal and such, so that's why I'm going code 2. Well, we don't have codes in OCRP, but, you know, lights, no sirens. I'll be at the front entrance to you guys arrive. 252, same traffic. Let's go around back. See if there's anything around here. I'll go around the front of the building if you want to check the rear. 10 4. There's a truck on the left there. 176 will be coming in at the back of the building, dirt road. Two five two. There's a truck out the back. I'm going to talk to him. Morning, officer. Hello, sir. I'm uh, Trooper Purton with the uh, San Andreas Sheriff Department. Just wondering what you're doing here, to be honest. Oh, actually, I got a load to pick up here in a little bit. I ordered some stuff, and um, I guess I got here before they opened up, so I just kind of parked up back here. Is this the loading dock over here? Do you know? Uh, I believe this would be Goods Inwards, where they deliver the truck. Yeah, Goods Entrance, it says up on the uh, top up there. But, um, there's a parking lot, at, parking lot out front where you could park up and wait for them. Oh, okay. Well, I know I gotta, you know, it's gonna fill the truck. I just wanted to kind of get closer, but, uh, yeah, I, uh... I didn't even see the the words up there. It was kind of dark. Same 176 is 1097. Yeah, that's understandable. If you um, if the item is big that you're picking up, I'm sure the staff in there would help you to um, move it to get it to your truck. Maybe. 
I just don't think you're oh, meant probably, to be yeah. here. And we got calls off concerned oh, citizens okay. driving past on the highway that saw you uh, circling the car park. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. No, I'm just picking up a load of salt. Uh, but I, I, <laughs> I have a, a thing to do. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, if you could do me a favor and um, park around the front, then people don't call you in as a suspicious vehicle, hence why there's such a big response from us. Oh, well, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, sure, I, I got a problem with that. Like I said, I'm looking for the loading dock, but yeah, I can pull up. Okay, thank you, sir. Have a uh, lovely day. All right, you too. Stay safe, guys. You too, sir. Watch out for the gators. Gators? <laughs> yeah, there's gators over in the Alamo Sea. One almost got me the other day. Turns out I'm allergic to swimming as of now. <laughs> Bad idea. Same yeah, you don't say. Alright, thank you, sir. And I want to grab it. 252's 10 out. Well, that turned out to be nothing. I love the massive response because nothing was happening and then we got a call. I'm gonna go, um. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way out and then up. Well, down the highway. I don't want to cross over these lanes if I don't have to. That was weird, the way that car pulled over. Uh. Okay. Whatever. I guess that's a uh, confused local. Not going to bother with him. Just going to go back to patrolling. I need to reset my radar. I still hit that key binding where it's the same button for the radar on the M menu. Really? I just reset it. God damn you, AI. And again. Every single car. Oh, there's a barrier. Every car will set off that radar. Guaranteed. Uh, clear. Trying to drive responsibly. Not something I'm particularly good at, but, you know, you can always improve. What is that guy doing? He is driving down the side of the road. Two what? five two. Go ahead. Are you ten eight, sir? Ten four. I'm about to have a ten fifty on Panorama Road. Copy two fifty two. Can you refresh your CAD for me? Uh, ten for I um forgot to sign in. Give me one minute. Ugh. So I forgot to sign into CAD, which I have to do now, and then I have to go and talk to this guy. And I am in CAD, and I am ten eight. Hey man. Two five two. Uh, traffic. Sorry, man. Two five two, go with your traffic. Show me on a ten fifty northbound panorama at one zero two zero on a white Karen Rebel. I have a secondary with me. Sorry, I just had to uh, call in dispatch. I saw this guy. He was driving down the side of the road, and it was just odd. Copy 252, can the secondary identify? 917. Nope, 917, that's uh, Tad, I believe. But yeah, I thought I'd stop and have a uh, word with him because that just seemed odd. Okay, no problem. Copy, I got 252, 917, 1050, Panorama Drive, 1020. Alright, what's up? On a white rebel at 1226. 10 4. Uh, hello again, sir. You're the guy from Utah, right? Yes, sir. I, I got my load, and, and I'm... But I do think I'm a heavy AI, I just... That voice matches the character perfectly, other than the dance moves. Yeah, the reason... Um, well, do you know why I've pulled you over? Let's see if you can answer that. Oh, I was, I was trying to stay on this... Yeah. quite go fast. I was just trying to stay... That's actually what concerned me. Why was you driving down the side of the road? Well, with this load I got on, it just... 
want to get up to speed, so I was just trying to stay out of the traffic's way. Oh. Right. Okay. How exactly how much salt much do you have? Oh, that's about two, 250 bags. Or so. It's just first load. I, I got something going here uh, on a mission. Yeah, I can tell. Um, not exactly sure that's safe. But it's, it's strapped in and uh, it's going slow, you know. Hey, oh, yeah, it was on the side. Right, okay. I'm just going up the road a little ways up by the boat hollow. I mean, is it illegal to drive on the side of a road? I don't know. Okay, give me uh, one you. sec. All right. Good morning, officer. Sure, morning. I'm sorry, deputy. He's got like several tons of salt in the back of his truck, and that's why he was driving on the side of the road because he didn't want to go fast. I've never heard that one before. Well, um, as it's hazards on, his vehicle is capable of off-road. A couple tons is quite a lot for this pickup, but... Yeah, exactly. I don't see an issue with it. I mean... Hey, gentlemen, you know, God has spoken to me. I had an epiphany the other day. Oh, this gets better. I'm on a mission. This is, uh, much better. Okay. <laughs> Is he allowed to just drive down the side of the road, though? Uh, I don't... I don't know of any law that says he can. Huh? I guess it could be operation of a motor vehicle in a, in a national park, but that would be a bit extreme to charge him with, or to sight him with that. Yeah, He's exactly. Just trying to be safe, trying to keep his speed down so he doesn't get in a wreck. But yeah. That that's up to you. No, I won't charge him with that. Um, I got a suggestion for him though. I'll I'll let him go, but I'll yeah, I'll give him a suggestion. Okay. Ordained by God. I will not see you. Is is he praying? Better truck load on top of car with bags of salt. Okay, the thing that concerns me most, sir, is the fact that if you look at your suspension, it is way down. Like, you've got literally tons. That, that's got to be more than the recommended maximum weight of this vehicle. Well, I was going to rent a bigger truck, but, but I don't really, I haven't driven one of the big couple extra trip. Also, I, I guess maybe I, I loaded a little heavy. Why did you come this way up Panorama? Wouldn't it have been better to go through the um, dirt tracks along um, from Utah up uh, Nowhere Road and come out by the um, Sandy's gas station? Like I said, I'm headed just straight down the road there. I, I'm, I'm on a mission for God here, man. You're, you're God's plan. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a verbal warning about how much you've loaded that truck, because that's just not safe at all. And I will, for this load, I'll escort you to your house with the sirens so you can drive on the roadway. And then from now on, don't fit as much in your truck. Just make more loads with less weight, because that is really not safe. All right. All right. 252. Well, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not heading. 252, go ahead. House. Are you running as Charles or Sam, sir? Uh, That's Sam fine. today. You want to escort me? I'm Copy. sure that the ward would appreciate your good. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll drive behind you with my lights on and um, keep it slow, and we'll take it up to your house. All right. All right. Uh right. I'll follow you. Once I get back to my vehicle, you can uh, set off. Kenny, Sam 252. Sam 252. Due to the heavy load of this vehicle, we are going to escort it up Panorama Road for safety reasons. <laughs> Copy 252. 
He's on a mission from God, I can't just intervene in that. This is... I've yeah, never 10, done an escort before. I'll be 10 8 off that call. Yeah, if we just stick behind yeah, him with the lights seven. on, hopefully people won't think we're trying to pull him over and he's fleeing with 10 tons of salt in the back of his truck. I suppose that would be a good defense against pit maneuvers, but it wouldn't help you much with the fuel or the acceleration. Right, that's clear. Don't quite know where he's planning on going with us. Right, let's just go have one last word with him, make sure he understands the point. Okay. Thank you. Um, as I said, I'm not going to take this any further. I could be an asshole and cite you and give you fines and all that. I'm not going to do that. All I ask is that the next journey take like half as much, maybe. I know that's more trips, but honestly, it's so much safer. Well, sometimes doing the Lord's work takes a little extra. I can appreciate or that, but there's got to be a balance. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hell. I think maybe. Oh, he's cut out. I haul. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Anyway, man, you have a um, very good day and good luck with the uh, Lord's plan. <laughs> uh. All right, have a good day, man. I'll see you. I'll see you uh, next time. Hopefully not. His voice was cutting out and I didn't want to sound rude, so... Sam252. 252. Show me 1098-10-8. Uh, Copy 252, got you 10 at 1234. Hey, I'm over here. Who which hillbilly was that, that guy? God damn it. Anyway, I'm going back to uh, Run Radar, see if God decides to go uh, back down Panorama. That was one of the more unusual scenarios I've had. It was pretty fun though, and I'm not going to lie. like It is a bit boring escorting people, but it's better than just driving round, so I don't mind it. As long as it's not like, can you escort me from LSIA in the bottom of the state to Polito Bay at 12 miles an hour, that's when I'm like, uh, no. But yeah, that was a pretty cool scenario. He's doing God's work. <laughs> the guy was a lunatic. What a sunny day to be out on the streets. Right, he's probably going to expect me to be in the same place. So if I go, if I move a little bit, then he might think it's clear and go speeding past. I just hit the... God damn it. I'm not a good parker, okay? Dun 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 dun. I want to be here. Perfect. There he goes again. Looked a little fast, but I clocked him at 45, so... Going to let it slide. He's going to come back now with more salt. Guaranteed. So what's going to happen now? This is my actual prediction from God, just like this dude. <laughs> I'm going to go park over the other side of the road there. Run radar. And it's going to cut in about, it's going to cut to me in about five minutes time pulling this dude over for crawling on the road with a really heavy load. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I just didn't know it. So now, God's plan is going to be put into motion. I really should stop comparing myself to the Lord. And let's see if in five minutes... We cut to this dude coming back really slowly with a very heavy load. My god, it's quiet tonight. I still haven't seen um, the man of God come past yet. It is so quiet though. Those are some bright ass headlights, dude. Like, seriously. Right, I'm going to go patrolling for a little bit. See if um, crime finds us or we find crime. Either one. Um, as I said, I haven't seen man of God. Don't know where he is. Which I suppose is a good thing, that means he's probably heeded my advice. Um, I'm going to take a patrol, I'm going to go up past the junkyard, because I don't usually go that way, simple reason. And uh, that truck was flying, how fast is he going? 47? Hmm, that looked quite fast. 
Hang on, didn't he say he was going to rent something from U-Haul? I'm going to go have a look, because he seems to be going quite fast to me. Even though I only clocked him at 43, he seemed to be going quite fast. And I'm, at, I'm going 90 and I'm barely catching this dude. Let's just get behind him and get a proper reading on his speed. He slowed down now. 57 on that car. I'm going to have a word with this guy then, apparently. If he's speeding, someone else will get him. But this guy, I caught speeding, so... That's fine. I can pull this guy over. Holy shit, dude. You are flying. If this is a local, I swear. Are you serious? Oh, God, I hate the locals in this game. I really hate the locals in this game. Ah, oh, right, anyway, I'm going to go patrol and pass the junkyard. That was a stupid turn, but, you know. Same person again. Nope, it's a local. Definitely a local. I hate this game. That was a big truck. Wonder what he's off to do. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I've been sat here a long time, though. Um, yeah, running radar's getting a little bit tiring right now to be honest. How are you going to be tiring? Just sat there? I have no idea. It just is. Like you just sit there for hours and staring at the same thing just waiting for everything to happen. The only good news is you get to keep up with the text chat in the corner. That's pretty much it. And stop. Hammer time. Two Grangers. Gotta love it. Tut 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 Sheriff. 58 and a 50. Wow. That is... That's like 18% over or something. I don't know. Can't be bothered for maths, but... That's... Tut tut. Nothing I can really say about that. Laying the force down with a reckless driving. Ooh. Invite Alamo heading towards grapes. He's loads of... Bah. Um, bags of salt. Oh my god, really? Ugh, it's that dude again. Like, really? Um, he ran a stop sign. I'm going to be responding to that. Where is it? We're looking for a big white truck. Someone to push from here. I'm route to that stars and game alert. To that what? Yo. Sorry, Mark was off. Yeah, so you it was my... You are looking for that truck as well? Yeah, I've dealt with him before. It's bags of salt, apparently. He's a... Uh, last, oh, okay. last time I saw him, he was in a white Karen Rebel, but he might have changed vehicles. I'm going to turn back around and see if I can see him further along, Joshua. Nice, nice. So he's not in a truck, it's just uh, an SUV type vehicle. It, he could be in a truck, but last I saw him, he was in a Karen Rebel, which is a uh, pickup. Nice, alright. Yeah, I'll head up to 13 and go towards um, Grapeseed that way. Okay, I'll turn back around, see if I can see him the other way. Let's go through the gas station, the abandoned gas station. Big white truck. I think I know who we're looking for. Pretty sure it is. Uh, sirens on to go around traffic. I just had another read through of the message and it said in by Alamo C. Uh, 10 9. 2 you still looking? 10-4. I was going to head to I advise, I've got a white truck here. He's on sea view, parked on the rocks. Uh, with one subject on the roof with binoculars. Um, could you roll up here just to assist him while I speak? 10 4, 10 113, I'm on sea view, I'll roll in too. 10 4. This is not the truck that I saw last time, but it certainly matches the description, so it's worth talking to him. 
Yeah, plus I thought it seemed a bit weird that he's parked over there. It could just be bird watching or whatever, but uh, but yeah, it kind of matches the description, doesn't it? Yeah, it's worth uh, checking it out, so do you want to go talk to him? Awesome. This is very unusual. And he is parked right on the edge of the Alamo. As I said, in the text it said, in or by the Alamo Sea. This matches that perfectly, so... 100 bags of salt. Yep, it's a Hello, sir. Yeah, this is the same guy. You, you, out, uh, you out crocodile hunting? Yes, sir. I'm looking for gators. I, uh... Gators, right. Nice, okay. Um, quick question, but it, we, we've had a call um, to a truck with uh, a large amount of bags in the back of it. The vehicle matches the description of the truck, and I can see that you've got about 100 bags there. Um, do you mind if I ask what you've got in the bags? It's salt. For it's, it is written that where the salt water is salty, the croc shall not be. Are you telling me you're trying <laughs> you? to fill the Alamo Sea with salt to make it salt water? <laughs> well, I don't know if I can fill it, but maybe if I can chase them from shore, they won't attack anyone. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Did you get permission off the government to do that? Sir, I am on a mission from... Yeah, I know you're on a mission from God, but still, you you can't just dump tons and tons and tons of salt into a massive government-owned body of water. It would ruin the ecosystem. <laughs> it's, it's fucking dude. Well, those gators sent by the devil himself are ruining things. You can't fish, you can't swim, they eat your dogs and cats, must be eliminated. That, yeah, so I mean, sure. I mean, I, I get the idea of you trying to be an upstanding <laughs> citizen and protect wildlife and stuff, but I mean, we, we have people who do that. We have wildlife rangers and, you know, we have the Coast Guard and, this you know, all, all, all those sorts of good stuff. I, I mean, we haven't had an animal attack here in, in quite a while. Oh, one almost it, got me just the other day. Yeah, I was the officer responding to that, but I, I couldn't, I, I mean, I couldn't see one, and, and that, I mean, they're, a, you know, they're, they're not a common, well, they are common out here in Florida, but I haven't seen much on our shorelines. They tend to stay away from habited areas. Um, you know, I mean, like I say, we haven't had any injuries or, or deaths strictly related to crocodiles. Um, but like the deputy said, it is illegal for you to do that. Um, it's it for it's it's part of hunting, of which one you need a hunting license for, and and two, um, there are certain animals in which you you can't kill, um, especially when it comes. I am sent to. Well, can you provide the courts a written consent? <laughs> to say that God has <laughs> sent you? Do you have a letter from God saying... He's asking God to turn up to court. That's right in the, in the Bible that man should be the caretaker of the earth, the animals, the water, everything else. Unfortunately, that's not a legal standing document. Well, we all have our beliefs. And at this absolutely, man. I, I can't believe you asked God to turn I, up to You court. know, I don't want to seem like I'm disrespecting your beliefs, because I'm absolutely not. I respect your beliefs, but obviously we're here. We're, we have a job to do. Um, you know, we're, we're the law enforcement, and we enforce the law, and the law is what's written under the American Constitution, you know? This truck is, oh, like, twice my height. I would like to inform you that at this point, actually haven't dumped any... And I was looking. See, he's majestic. Yeah, sure. Got the Are sun behind him. I'm following. Yes, just the other day, one got me. Was almost got me. I had to. Well, yeah, but the officer said he didn't see a gator, so I was just wondering if you actually 
Saga. Did you see a gator officer? Um, yeah, so, um, <sighs> yeah, so, okay, so I should say, I mean, we, we haven't, we, well, I can't see any signs that you've, you've, you know, offloaded any, um, offload, uh, offloaded any salts or anything, but it's not illegal for you to possess salt in the back of your vehicle, nor is it illegal for you to be here, but it's illegal for you to basically merge to put them both together so the fact if you're, if you're telling us that you intend I'm um, dying. I'm to, dying. to harm the animals and you don't have a hunting license or anything like that then obviously we, you know we have to act oh Pardon? sorry <laughs> sorry man I, I didn't want that app. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not animals they're demons to destroy yeah, like the devil will do Isn't that going to kill a lot other species also? Yes, it would, because if you were to turn this water salty, then all the fish in it would die, everything in it would die. Needless to mention that pretty sure salt wouldn't just mix naturally if you dumped tons of it in there. And the, vo the volume of this lake alone, this sea, it's so many millions of cubic meters, a few tons would do nothing. So you'd either kill all the animals, so, yeah. or it just wouldn't make any difference at all. But you would definitely I'm thinking... kill the animals that are around where you pour it, though, so... Yeah, and that is... You yeah. Do it, yeah. You just can't do it. You'd be destroying the ecosystem, which is very, very illegal. I'm pretty sure that's a felony, actually. And with, re with regards to the, uh, with the regards to alligators themselves, I mean, if you're specifically out here hunting alligators, that that requires, you know, a specific hunting license. The alligator, uh, the alligator's hunting license. Um, it's in more which case, than that, though. Then, you know, by all means, you're legal to hunt them, but but then you have to abide by the hunting laws. Yeah, you so can't. You, so you can, obviously. There's a difference between hunting an animal and exterminating an entire rape, like species of them from an area. I only seek to coin. Oh, but yeah, so I mean, this I mean, this current situation, I, I suppose you can basically take these as our strong words of warning um, that we're going to situate around the area, and if we have any reports of you, you know, offloading that salt into the lake, um, that's when we're going to treat it as, you know, as a problem. With regards to now, it's it's sitting in the back of your truck. So I'm, you know, I, I I just, you know, I'm I'm just basically advising you that perhaps it should stay there. But yeah, um, that must be heavy on the back of the truck, right? Oh, this truck is built to take it. Yeah, I did give I you a warning last saying, time, did I out. not? I gave you a warning before about the weight of your truck. I just wanted to have a look at the suspension, see if everything was okay with it. Yes, I took your warning to heart, your words, and I, I went. Okay, that's fair enough. But yeah, the moral of the story, you cannot dump that salt in the Alamo Sea. I don't know what you're going to do with tons of salt. Maybe when winter comes around, you'll be okay. Might move to Canada or something, but you cannot dump it in this water. Well, I, I will meditate and pray long and hard on your words, gentlemen. I do try to follow the laws of the land. And as should be done, but I also am on a mission from the purity yeah. of the soul shall cleanse the demons from me. Well, don't of course, be man. A demon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was literally just about to say that we don't want to be demons here, <laughs> but yeah, I, listen, we totally respect your religious beliefs. Um, this dude's you whacked know, out of his mind. We're, we're not out. We're not out here to try and change your, um, yeah, um, we don't want to change your views on it or anything like that. We're just literally here to enforce the law, and hunting alligators is against the law unless you've got a license to do it, okay? And that's, that's, that's written in, in the laws of the land. <laughs> All right, man? I understand, and 
I said, I, I will pray and, and meditate. I, but I will have to go with what God tells me to do. And what's okay, your name, well, sir? Just... I, I've never met you before, so can I get your name so I can call you by your right name? My name is Stanley Kistler. I'll go uh, run that. Stanley Kistler. That's an unusual name. But he is an unusual guy, so it kind of fit in. Right, let's see what Stanley Kistler comes up with. That's our penal code. Stanley Kistler. Discharge weapon in a public area, potential alligator, one, uh, yeah, that's the same. And speeding, that's fine. Stanley Kistler has a pistol. Sam 252, Sam 124 direct. Go ahead. Can you uh, relay the 28th of that truck for me? 10 4 stand by. Yeah, let's just get his plate. Discharge weapon in public area, potential alligator. Uh, that 28 is going to be 8 4 William Golf. Adam 188. 10 4, received. Uh, comes back clear, no wants, no warrants, no notes. Uh, has one warning for discharging a weapon, an alligator, and two citations for discharging a firearm in a public or residential property and speeding. 34 over. He does own a pistol. Uh, 10 4. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and issue a written warning this time. 10 4. I just want to make it 100% clear that if this guy does it, he will be going down, possibly for a felony. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we've checked your um, details and everything, all that comes back um, fine, basically. Um, obviously, you've had warnings before with regards to hunting, uh, well, in particular, alligators. This guy's good at getting punched. <laughs> Beat oh, up deputy. Reason. You're just a very punchable person. What can I say, deputy? <laughs> that was odd because I wasn't even touching a button. Bro, is yeah, it this vest? Does it? The the hunting issue is part of the reason that my killed weapon maybe, is actually maybe it's the, the demon box. coming out in me. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Have some salt. He's got plenty of it. <laughs> um. Oh God! I do like your truck, sir. I do like your truck. I'll say. Please stop, so I can look into your eyes. Oh my God! This he's an, he's not performing an exorcist, is he? Look away, sir. Exorcists are illegal. Don't uh, <laughs> I feel the presence at this point. Please, I would. Pastor or priest, pray for protection. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely take your words to heart. Maybe I'll go, I'll go see my preacher tonight, maybe, and have him check me out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll issue a department, like, order for that. That'll be his, uh... <laughs> that'll be his homework. I'm feeling yeah. a court order for a, uh, one-month mandatory stay in a lunatic asylum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like me, though. Very well, Alright man, so we're going to give you a written warning, okay? It's going to be under the statute 379104. It's the right to hunt and fish, okay? So go, so this is, uh, so go ahead and treat this as a warning. Um, maybe pass the message on to, to God, your saviour. Let him have a look, and then hopefully he'll, you know, he'll, he'll discourage you from getting yourself into trouble, because we don't want to come back here and seem like demons and, and have you arrested for, uh, for violating the law. Alright, man? Yeah. Does that sound fair? Slump slightly yeah, worried, sorry, confused. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, man. Mr. Kistler, just, uh, told, yeah. just to inform you that if you do dump all that salt into the, um, into the sea here, I'm almost certain that's a felony of 
damage to the environment, which is a very big fine and a lot of time in jail. You really don't want that. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, your Maybe best bet to is to go back to your house and talk to God and then... Maybe have some french fries, you've got enough salt to uh, last you. <laughs> uh, I actually oh yeah, you can feed salt. Sandy with all of that. Donate I, it to the I poor. I live in my van down by the river. Do you want some salt on your burger, officer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the other officer would care to have some with a... This dude's may whack. Help purify. Oh no, here comes fun. the rain. Ask God, tell him not to dump oh, the salt man. in. Yeah, That's your salt... Your sal you better... That's a very That's good point. Ah, well. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna get out of here, because otherwise we're gonna get wet, but... But yeah, man, so, um... Treat it as a warning. Um, we have got your details. Um... And hopefully we don't see you again on bad terms. I didn't bad. I I just am trying to do what I what I must do, so you're right, it's it's time to get out of the rain and, and maybe have a little dinner. Have a lovely day, Mr. Kistler. And try and be more sensible uh, with no. your um your messages in the future, let's say. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I take have a blessed day, man. Hey. Right. Have a good day, Mr. Kistler. I'm just gonna put some of my um, cash away. We're twenty thousand dollars closer to our house. I'm look. I'm actually looking forward to that. I'll I'll be honest. Two nine, give me ten seven for ten mics. Starting to pick up now. We're getting more and more people on. Um, how are we doing for food? Actually, that's a good a good point. Thirty seven. You know what? We don't actually need food and water and all. So. Let's hop back in our car, and I'm gonna go back to the station. I got my gun out for some reason, and I'm gonna get a um, a jacket. Now he's got a van. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's get ourselves a uh, a jacket. So it's torso one one five six, and let's see what that looks like. I'm pretty sure that's the jacket the other guy's got. There are a lot in here, obviously. Where is it? Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff to choose from. <laughs> Holy shit. 140, 150, 156. Um, hmm. I quite like that one. And now I need to get something for my chest. Nice. That is perfect. Let's accept that, yes. Uh, we had to pay for that, which is unfair, but, you know, not going to complain. Right, let's go back 10-8 and see what we can get into. Okay, guys, so not a lot has happened since uh, the last call with Mr. Kistler and the words from God. That, that was an interesting scenario we came up with. I like that. That was pretty cool. The repeatedness of it as well, so it wasn't just one pullover, words from God, blah, blah, blah. He went through with it and he kept going. I think that was pretty dope. But, um, yeah, anyway, I've got some stuff to do, so I'm going to be 10 7, 10 42 for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.